the history of DT Tech really started more than 45 years ago. It's a time when I was working at First Alpina, as you mentioned, as a manager of process control. I realized that at that time, the design and implementation of embedded system was more or less an ad hoc endeavor. There was no solid theory or engineering guidelines behind such a design. So when I had the chance to move to the University of Berlin in 1978, then the idea was to go into the foundations of embedded systems. And we found out that the real foundation is a proper consideration of time. Time must be a first order citizen in any design. And this idea of the importance of time has been carried through the last 40 years up to even today. And I can give you examples of even today. And it's important to recognize that in embedded systems that change the world, so to speak, as time progresses, time is a first order citizen. And so the first issue was how can we, in a distributed system, generate a global notion of time that will be fault tolerant and with, which does not depend on any single component of the system. And this took us, I would say, 10 years to investigate. And we found algorithms that you could solve this problem, that you can build a time base that will withstand the failure of any one of its components. And this time base is the basis for the time triggered protocol and for the foundations of DTTech. 